Chris is here playing ball with the dogs and I'm gonna do a quick walk through and show you what I have planted. Let's see what we've got in the garden. We're gonna start here at the east end of the garden in the arches. And we'll call this one, two, three, and four. Arch number one has one, two, three, four, five, six cucumbers and one, two, three, Hale's Best Cantaloupe. These are super sweet cantaloupe. They did really good last time, so I'm excited for them again. Arch number two, and we have what I think is a cabbage, a kale, and a Waltham butternut squash. And on the other side of the arch, we've got another Waltham butternut squash and a watermelon of, let's see what kind that is. That's a blacktail mountain watermelon. In arch number three, we have one, two, three, four tiger melons and a zucchini. So tiger melons are gonna be about softball size and super sweet, small melons. Also in arch number three, we have one, two, three, four, five Minnesota midget cantaloupe. These vines are not gonna get as long. They're just gonna vine maybe three to four feet. I forget, but anyway, they'll put on about nine to 10 fruit each and they're smaller than the hail's best. And then I have um, another kale Another kale, so two kale. Between arch number three and number four, we have basil, eggplant, tomato, 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 uh, jalapeno pepper. The first tomato I think is a galaxy tomato. And then the next two were tomatoes that I got from Kevin and Sarah. Um, something star, jet star, jet star. So we'll see how those do. I'm sure they'll be great. They, they highly recommend them. And then I have artichoke, eggplant, dahlia, artichoke, eggplant, beets. Arch number four, I've got rugosa butternut squash, two here and two over here, and they are looking good. So hopefully they'll vine up and cover this pretty quickly. And then I have dahlias that need to be planted. Oh man, my watermelon's going crazy right there. Watermelon, watermelon. One is all sweet, one is something else. Uh, I think I have a couple other kind of melon in there, a yellow squash, some zucchinis, a couple more tomatoes that were given to me by my friend Tracy. What else is in there? I don't know what that is. I don't know what you are. What are you? A sugar rush peach. Oh, uh, pepper. This is a sugar rush peach pepper. So a sweet and spicy pepper that I've never tried before. And then those are tomatoes, a couple different varieties. Why are you covered up? You shouldn't be covered up. There we go. I think I have some more cantaloupe in there, but I'm not sure. Um, some of my melons are, I lost uh, tags to a couple things, so I don't know what everything is. More tiger melon? I have plenty of tiger melon. Another cucumber, more flowers another cantaloupe more flowers in there oh and here's a tiny little melon of some sort let's see what this is oh that's another um cucumber we'll stick you over there all right we have strawberries and onions and some of the onions are starting to bulb but barely where did i see that over here right there comfrey tea for watering the plants getting kind of stinky onions starting to bulb up. These were the first onions I planted and they're looking pretty good there. See how dry the soil is. Nope, it's wet from the rain yesterday. More onions. My radishes have bolted and I'm just letting them go to seed. So pretty. And then carrots in here, still waiting to be thinned. I also have these pretty flowers here. I don't know what kind they are. And there were purple flowers all over this earlier in the season. And then um, this is like super soft. Really love it. It's really nice texturally. I also forgot to show you while I was under arch number four, I have 12 uh, bell pepper plants to go on the ground and this um, corkscrew reed. I forgot to show you the best part. Over here. Now this is what was covered with plastic and I told you I was gonna do raised bed gardening. I still want to do that, but I haven't done it yet. What I have done, I have planted one, two, three beds of regular potatoes and one bed of sweet potatoes. I 
um, just dug enough to get the potato under the soil, just barely. And then I covered it with leaf mulch that I gathered last fall. From, I just like, uh, I think I put it on Facebook and was like, hey, anybody have bags of leaves I can come pick up? And then I raked up some at my mom's. And so I, um, in between the rows, I put down feed bags. So like the center of the bed, I put down feed bags. And then on the edge of each bed, I put down the potatoes. And then I covered it all with leaf mulch, about three or four inches of it. One bag, basically one big garbage bag per bed. And then I covered it with this white bug netting, basically just to keep the chickens from scratching it up. So my task for this weekend, or one of my tasks, is to make hoops to go over this and then cover it with bug netting to keep the chickens out of it so that the potato plant can come up and not be killed off by the heat of the white bug netting and, you know, smothered under there. Um, but that heat right now, that's the little extra heat that it's getting from being on there will help break down the leaves a little bit more. So that is the garden as of whatever we are in today, 